little Kim in there. Uh, she was she was on on God bless the dead L. Oh man, Big L and Big L. This yeah, this, this is super early. So when Kim just started, she was on Big L. I never forget that. I was in all like that. L got it right there. They fucking with L. L was bro. with little Kim. Let me tell you about Big L. Let me tell you what. Rest in peace, Big L. He's dig digging in the crates, my brother. The castle was sick around the corner, kicking three. So I go like this. Rest in peace, my brother, B.O. Um, so I go, uh, this is what Big L did to me, right? Shit is foul as hell, but <laughs> it is what it is, right? I'm hanging in the studio with Mace, and we you see y'all all grew up in that same neighborhood. Uh, <laughs> Jones 139th, all yeah. that big children in the I'm corner, sad. all I'm from sad. that yeah. McGruff, all that's that hood, right? Yeah. So I see Mace, he's in the studio, I hang out with him. I think you was there, I think Cam was there. We was laughing, telling jokes all fucking night, popping shit. It was just the best time, right? And the next day, I'm in the tunnel, right? So I'm in the tunnel. You know how we are, Jim. I'm in there 20, 30 deep, whatever. So L come over to me, right? He like, yo, crack, I need you. I said, yo, what's up? You know, Big L, my little brother. Yeah. I said, yo, what's up? Nah, 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 nah. I got to holler at these niggas, this and this and that. This is a joker moment, guys. Uh, so I follow him. And you know, we ready to catch wreck for L, one million percent. He pulls up to Mason Becker, man. Oh, man. <laughs> and I'm standing with L. And they grew up together. They brothers. And the nigga L start going off on Mace. And I felt like the biggest backstabber hypocrite <laughs> in the world. I was hanging out with Mace the night before. And I'm standing there like this. But you know, L blood. Out, out, out of bloodline, digging in the crates. He blood. Man, oh, I dude. remember Mace looked at me. Yeah, he never trusted me again in his life. <laughs> Al was talking to him, but he was looking at me like he couldn't believe that shit. He was like, <laughs> word. Like, real crap. Like, nah, they all, all of them had their little riffs uptown. Cam, Mace, everybody had got into the little shoes back in the day because they were so young with that, with that success, and they started getting money. It was just different. Then Mace popped off. Mace was looking like the king of Harlem. He wasn't showing no love. He wasn't giving back to the community. He wasn't picking niggas like L up, shit like, like you know what I mean? Like, just. So that's, so, so that's the energy. That's why the energy between everybody in Harlem, like Mace and all um, uh, um, with, with Cam and everybody, it was like once he blew, he forgot where he came from. Yeah, so you got to figure. Mace wasn't wasn't a hustler coming up. He didn't know how to get to no money. Like Niggas like me and Cam always knew how to get fresh, stay with sneakers, knew how to hustle, dip and dab, get to the bag a little bit. Mace more, more wasn't on that. You dig? He was he was a little bit less fortunate. Like, you dig? Like, we more or less made sure he, he, we held him up, made sure he was fresh, made sure, you, you know what I mean? Like, he was on, he wasn't selling no slabs he wasn't selling no cracks he wasn't getting no packs he wasn't doing none of that so when you that young and you you know i've been in that situation where i didn't have and i'm around niggas that's getting jordans and all that type of shit i know how i feel i feel like I feel like a bozo i figured out how to get to the pack like i need to know what they oh that's what y'all doing well count me in because I, I i feel crazy i need to get fresh but that wasn't his thing and shit like that so when he hit it was like hitting lottery and and, and in turn it was like ah now i got the bag let me let me show y'all some. Y'all niggas gonna have to kiss my ass. And that shit didn't go as, as good as he wanted it to. Yeah, and you know it's it's crazy because that's a problem in hip hop. A major problem is when you rap about certain shit, but we knew you in the hood before you popped off, and we know you ain't about them lyrics. And so that's where people start trying these guys. When you start hearing about rappers getting tried and all that. It's because they're like, yo, bro, you wasn't about that. Like, and now you're talking all that. At least have, why you talking that? At least have two or three guys that's really about that with you. You have nobody. So the niggas that was about that in the town in Harlem was on his head top. Jeez. Niggas was on his head top. That's why he had to move, go to land, all type of different shit. Because the niggas that's really about that, getting, a, getting that bag, 
dig on owning blocks and shit like that was on his head. Oh man, I never knew that. I never went. He caused a he he caused he caused a big he caused a big riff up in Harlem and shit like that. R. P. God bless Baby Main and Pop Lottie and shit like that. Those like some guys who was standing up for him and all that was clashing up there. Yeah, you dig? People who sick. liked them, people don't like them. They was like, so you dig? They could just, but you dig? Like, I respect you know, everybody, Jim, everybody. Everybody do it they they way. You dig? I can't make nobody nothing. They don't want to do it. Jim, do you I, got this billion dollar idea? Yeah, 